This video covers charger puck installation and positioning of the charger cable required for easy dashboard installation. Detailed instructions for factory ash tray removal are linked in the description. The charging cubby ships with a green, dog bone shaped spacer that keeps the small plastic clamping block from falling out during transportation. You will need to remove the green spacer before you can install the charger. To do this, use a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench to back the grub screw out four full turns. You should now be able to push the spacer out through the hole in the bottom of the cubby. Next, thread the charger cable through the T-slot on the side opposite the grub screw. It may take some practice, but you will be able to get the end of the plug to slide fairly easily into the slot once it is properly aligned. Align the charger cup with the cable facing slightly downwards in the T-slot as shown here. Then, press the other side of the puck to pop it into place. I perform a 100% fit check with a MagSafe puck on every cubby before it ships. Now, tighten the grub screw with the 1.5mm Allen wrench until you feel the internal clamping block pressing up against the charging puck. It's good to check how much movement you get out of the puck before continuing with tightening the screw. Continue gently tightening the screw and checking fit until you no longer feel any movement when you apply a small amount of force to the bottom of the puck. The cable channel on the bottom edge of the cubby is needed due to the tight fit between the cubby and the ashtray slot. If you are using a power socket on the front of your console, like the factory cigarette lighter, you will need to tuck the cable into a U-shape like the one shown here and hold it in that position as you slide it into the ashtray slot. If you are going to be hooking up to USB power inside your dashboard, just run the cable straight backward in the channel. Maneuver the cubby into position in the ashtray slot with the cable tucked up into the channel. Carefully hold the cable in position as you slide the cubby in. Stop pushing when you begin to feel a little resistance at the end. Don't push the cubby all the way in yet. Feed extra unneeded charger cable length back into the channel. Then, push the cubby into the slot until you hear a click. That's it. Thanks for your purchase, and please leave any recommendations in the comments.